And so let's take some map we created with our lake and rocks and texturing and render inside the view as example. So for this I'm going to create a standard terrain. And we can modify scale going inside the terrain and look right here it says one kilometer by one kilometer. Um, I think it's a little bit more than this so I'm going to just set five kilometers by five and if I'm right it was a little bit larger if we look inside um, our application work machine but this is will should work at least for the tutorial so next I'm going to edit this object and inside object we're setting height and we'll go use it our map to load it I'm going to use it some our output file I created. You'll notice right here I also have a PNG versions and I have a TFF versions with some masking applied. So it just depends which one we're going to use. So right here we're going to use the RM. Let's go open. Okay, we'll go click again. Okay. And now we can open. So at this moment we can take camera, just go a little bit higher. And I look at the mountains, it does not look tall enough. So I can go inside and actually scale manually if I need it or I can use a Z index for that but I think just manually adjust should work fine so let's take our camera and put it a little bit over so you can see inside our canyon right here we have those rocks can I apply it you know maybe it's too high just brings like this to be down okay so we can preview but you can see we have inside the rocks. The one thing you notice, the resolution is not that good. So let's go and preview. I'm going to set render to screen. So we'll go preview. Um, the reason why resolution certainly it's not good because we need to remember what um, resolution of the terrain and it's preferable need to match. So I'm going to back to edit object and look right here. We have a two, 256. Obviously, this cannot support the mesh of we have it. And if you remember, I created a little bit high, I created 4,000 for this. So what we're going now at this point, I want to reset because map does not import it properly at this point. So I want to re-import that map. So we'll go back. Okay, let's go to click open. And that's things about view it will remember last map I opened so I don't need to navigate it I just can go and open list and right here this is our map I want to use it so let's click OK and we should have a high resolution of this map you'll see how much details more right now are available for us as well if we just go render we can compare those two you can definitely see a huge difference between these two um, areas so let's go to compare and you can see the resolution on the mountains mostly right here it's significant so be sure you set a properly resolution for your terrain at least to match same resolution that you created with next i want to create a base material so we'll go inside the terrain we go open our material editor right here the basic grain and some and sometimes you probably want to leave it some base material so in case you need oral order line but what i want to do is switch this to something a little bit more darker okay and we'll go select this color let's uncheck brighter so kind of a little bit more contrast areas you can see and again this is will cover with other material this is just in case if it was somewhere something like does not apply properly so we can coming back okay i'll notice right here it is uh 3.9 so i actually want to set scale to one before i work with this um let's create a new layer and this layer will go call um, probably just mountain color. And when we're creating, I want to be sure this is object parametric set. Okay, so we're done.
done with this. Okay, the next, of course, I want to change this mountain to the color. So let's switch um, at this point color. And I'm going to go to natural grain. And just to make it look a little bit more interesting, we'll go with a orange and maybe something more kind of this color. Okay, we'll go to pattern, be sure it's cover 100%, take highlights a little bit more to the do. But next, what is important for us, it's using transparency in right places. So we'll go set transparency, variable. We'll go to edit function right now, but after we can modify this a um, little bit better. So we delete this. And right here, transparency, I'm going to use a texture map projected texture map and we'll go connect this to the transparency node okay inside let's go ahead and open and we'll look right here we have our mountain tff so i'm going to open this right here i can preview the mountain located one thing i want to be sure my interpolation set at least binary and i says repeat once let's go click ok set object parametric let's look right now what we have it so we have it our camera we'll put all the way up and remember black was on the middle and if i'm right we need an invert transparency so right here you can see where it's applied so i actually want to inverse that okay so in this case i'm going to back to my terrain editor you go to edit function and right here i'm going to click in inverse so on this case white it is not transparent and black is transparency so this is what i wanted for my cloud so let's go click ok we'll go copy this function right now because we're going to reuse that and now let's go to use a flow for our mountains so for this one we'll again create a new layer We can actually call flow. Okay, we'll go to the colors and we can use the same different one, but I like natural grain, so we'll just use it this one by default. We'll take presence so it's cover all of this. Let's go to highlights and transparency set similar to what we have before. We'll go to add uh, paste this function remember I use it and we'll go to edit but before we do let's switch to parametric so I know kind of view precisely we'll go to edit this function and we'll go switch our map to different maps so we'll go to select our flow mountain flow so we'll go click OK and we need it inverted so now we have this applied kind of color. We always can go back if needed and modify, you know, maybe add a little bit more kind of red durations to this. Okay, let's go to apply contrast. So we have it kind of a bit different and on this case it will apply together. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to create a few more layers. Um, so we need to create deposit and we need to create also the where as well other map. So I'm going to do this in the next tutorial.